ओके नाउ हियर आर टास्क इज टू साइज द ट्रांसफार्मर वी हैव अ नेटवर्क लाइक दिस ओके ना दिस नेटवर्क आई जस्ट कन्वर्टेड इन टू द फेज डाइग्राम सॉरी वोल्टेज डाइग्राम सो डिफरेंट कलर कोडिंग इज कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई हैव कनेक्टेड अ लोड ऑफ हियर आई कनेक्टेड अ लोड ऑफ हंड्रेड एम पी एंड again i will connect some other loads to the other transformer the rating i didn't give it right now i just give the rating of a transformer existing transformer and, and by sizing of a transformer actually you are watching one thing you are observing one thing that how much extra you can utilize this transformer and what is the safe limits so right now let's suppose i uh, i told that uh, this transformer rating is 2.5 mv Okay, and that transformer rating is again. I am saying this. Uh, it is around 1.5 mb, and that one is uh, the voltage is again. I give 11 kb, and I say that 33 by 11 kb, and the voltage and the mb rating is uh, around 2 mba. Impedance I have to insert as per the standard values. Sizing is here, and uh, I will show you what I want to do with it later on. That is 11 kV I registered. Now that one is also I registered here, and the voltage level I have to give here. Point four one five, and for that also, yes, six point six kV, and the MB rating is two point five. Impedance I am taking as standards, standard impedances. Sizing I am not touching right now. Let's see another transformer. If there is any other transformer which have no rating, then again this is the transformer. Again, I will make it 1.5 mV with the step down voltage of 6.6 and 1.5 mV is the rating. Impedance I took the uh, standards. Now here I connected a motor load. Lump load is this. right now i am saying that this lump load is 60% motor load and the 40% is is stt right now it is 80% motor i say it is 60% motor and ampere is 50 amps and this is connected value same thing i will do here i will connect a different uh, loads combine loads i already have a separate on this motor load connected here and see this i have a multiple motors here this is multi motor multiple motors i connected here Actually, this is our project. <coughs> we are actually showing you our project. In this training, what we are doing, we are executing our project, and on the same time, we are training on you on this real time project. So, let us start. If you want to change the color of these voltages, you can change it. First of all, we will do the load flow, and after that, we will move towards the sizing of the transformers. And if there is some cable under voltage. or any other thing happen to our system abnormality is there it have been highlighted and we will try to correct it as per the standard values and the standard its standard practices 
Now there are some errors. Look, uh, rated KVA MBA for the lump load must be greater than zero. So there some lump load. I used to give the and that one is lump load number two. Okay, lump load number two. It will happen when you are in the you are in the auto mode. Just stop it. Now I go ahead. I already given all the values. Sometimes what happened? It didn't auto. Okay, so it's okay. What is this here? Everything I have. Everything is here. Okay, fine. Go. Just keep on. Cannot delete anything in the load flow mode. So go back to the edit mode. Delete it. Then reconnect it. After that, give the values here. It is I'm saying 100 ampere. I think 100 ampere. As per the data sheet, 100 ampere. Now it auto took uh, took the values in the MVA active power and active power. My this current lump load is 18 percent motor load. So actually, it is some sort of combined small industry. So now. I just go to the load flow analysis. I just do the now again. There are some transformer T8 transformer whose impedances I have to give the standard value. Right now I'm just giving the standard value, but I told you earlier if you have the data sheet and you must have the data sheet of the transformer, you need to use the percentage impedance or voltage drop as per the data sheet. Now here we have the triangle. It means that there are some values which are in alert mode, <coughs> but not in what you say, what you can say uh, in the emergency mode. Right now this is alert mode. Means it is near loaded, but not completely loaded. So what I will do? I just want to check the this transformer maximum sizing. So before that. I have to connect some more load on it, and if you have a problem understanding and uh, visualizing this uh, color scheme, just go there and change it to phase. Because uh, in E tab, whenever some component is overloaded, it will show you the red color. Okay, and if some component is or some part of the system is uh, near overloaded, then it will give you the purple color. So better to use this black diagram. This means black and white diagram. It is better. Okay, now here I connect uh, some other loads. I will say that uh, this load is around uh, uh, 200 amperes, and this load is around uh, 800 amperes. Again, I will do the load flow. You can better take the what do you say? Better uh, what I can say. The auto options from the E tab, but better to use your own theories. It is it is suggestible. Not to go the towards the exact uh, suggestion from the E tab, auto suggestion from the E tab. Right now you can see this uh, bus bar is marginalized, and my transformer is having a rating of 1.5 MV. So what I will do? I just go to this transformer. I just go to the rating of the transformer. I have a 1.5 MV transformer. Then after that, I will go to the sizing. Here I have transformer loading here. It is on the default means whatever the rating I give in there 1.5 MV. It is the it is by default. It is the connected load. So what I will do? I just mention here 1.5 MV is the rating of my transformer, and I want to overload it. I want to use it in the larger size. So I just click it 1.6 and when I click it, you can see just return to the rating and you can see the rating uh, rated value which was over 1.5. Now it is converted to 1.6 and this is the maximum capacity of the overloading which I can enforce on this transformer. 
and after that I will do again the loop flow. Now this transformer rating is 1.6 mV. Before that, these are the values. 85% power factor. We need to analyze that values also. So this thing again, I, what I will do. Can check the difference in the values right now it is 97.52 percent is the water rate of what i will do i just go to the sizing and i want to use it in the under size means a smaller size the rating is 1.5 mb i want to use it at 1.25 let's suppose and here is also one thing it is given that uh, required is 1.531 although your rating is 1.5 but if you go for 1.531 it is the requirement as per the calculation as per the connected load so what I will do, I will do, uh, I will use a smaller size. Now let's see what will happen. I put on the auto mode. So whatever the changes I will do, it will come. Before that it was 97.52. When I use it under size, now you can see the voltage drop is now 97.22. Again, I will go for the required size of this transformer. We need to suggest as a consultant what is the better size of the transformer. Better sizing of this transformer as per the connected load. So I will go for the required load. Now it is 1.5331. You can see here I am using it and loaded it up to 1.531. And before when I was uh, make it, made it 1.25 MV, you can see the voltage drop is here 97.22. When I did it, now let's see what will happen 1.531 is now rating now the voltage improved if i go for the larger size again which is not recommended but as per the requirement you have to do it 1.6 mva now you can see 97.43 will become 97.52 means around 7% uh, 0.07% voltage regulation improvement or voltage improvement second thing is that uh, I, I have here some voltage drops here and let's suppose I want to improve this voltage 97.5 so this thing we will do in the next exercise if you have any question regarding the transformer sizing you can ask me Yes, yes.